there's a reason why there's so many American thrifting YouTubers is because the thrifting there is actually good. Hey pals, I'm Jen and I love to thrift, but recently I realized that all my thrifted clothing isn't actually from Australia. So let's do a little comparison and see why that is because yeah, I literally live in Australia, but yet I thrift everywhere else. With American thrift stores, I find that they are humongous, usually. They're like a huge big warehouse. There's so many clothes and they bring out new stuff all the time. Now I think that's probably because the population in America is quite a bit higher than Australia. So there's a lot more clothes being thrown away. Sad. But lucky for us thrifters, there's a lot of things to find over there. That doesn't tend to happen where I live here in Australia. Most of the thrift stores here, or actually we call them op shops. What do you call them in your country? Usually there's a lot of things that are kind of bad quality that are overpriced for no reason. And today I wanted to prove myself wrong and see if I could actually find anything. And I know it really depends on the area that you're thrifting. I'm just kind of generalizing here. I live in like a beachy town, like kind of smaller place. Not really that small, but just not one of the major cities. So people don't really dress up here, kind of just going to the beach. So yeah, a lot of the quality of fabric and just like the, the, the fashion styles aren't really my style. So yeah, first up, let's have a look at what I can find in an American thrift store in kind of a small town because I kind of have this footage from America and I never uploaded it. So here we are. I am in my boyfriend's town, like where his family lives. So I thought I would check out the thrift stores here, but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere America. So I'm just gonna see if I can possibly find anything. <laughs> So this wasn't a huge Goodwill, but it was still jam-packed full of a lot of stuff. I first checked out the jackets and cardigans, but knowing I was going to Australia was a bit of a turn off, so I didn't try to get too many things there. I then checked out the jeans and had a few things to try on. First thing I tried was this denim button-up, which has amazing details all over with the embroidery and just the shape of it. It's really cool, so I bought that. I then tried on the skirt, but it, the shape was a bit weird and it was a little bit too big for me, so I said no to that one. I did try on a couple of jeans and the skirt, but they weren't the right sizing or shape. I've been on a hunt for a leather jacket, so I did pick this one up, but turns out um, <laughs> the zip was broken. There was this cute cat sweater, which I didn't get because Australia is too hot for that. Uh, this one was just like real Lizzie McGuire vibes and I loved it, but no. And this cardigan was super comfy, but I just didn't think I would get much wear out of it, so I put it back. All right, I'm trying to go to this one, but this one's closed, so yeah. All right, the Goodwill was pretty good, but I didn't want to splurge too much. I saw some good finds for like a small town and I got two things, but now let's try out Salvation Army. So the kids section had a lot of cute gems, but obviously didn't fit me. This fluffy shirt was so, so soft, super tempted, but no. There was cowboy boots. These shoes were super cute, but too small, as well as these docks that were also too small sad face and I was literally in here for the longest time just going through all the clothes because there was so many things to look at I found this overall dress which was from Disneyland I guess and I did end up getting it because I wasn't sure if I liked the logos or not but yeah I just picked it up because it was only seven dollars I thought these blankets had the cutest colors but they wouldn't fit in my suitcase and then I tried out a bunch of jackets even though like <laughs> definitely not worth taking to Australia, but it was just fun to try on. And this thrift store literally had a bunch of like anything you could ever try and look for, which was amazing. You would not find this in Australia. Lots of different prints, these cool patchwork jackets. Like looking at this now, I wish I got this brown one. It is so cute. But then yeah, I went and tried some stuff on, lots of stuff really. I tried on this jacket again because I was unsure. The skirt was a little bit too big. These pants are like gems. I knew they would fit me perfectly when I picked them up. So I got those and they're literally my favorite jeans at the moment. These overalls were from the kids section. So no, they didn't fit me sadly. And then yeah, I did get this overall dress, but I don't really think it's my style. So hit me up if you want to buy it from me as well as I try the skirt, but I'm not into bodycon. 
and this jacket. I kind of wish I got it. Corduroy is amazing. So yeah, that was a small town in America and as you saw, they had huge op shops or thrift stores. So now I'm going to thrift and compare op shop thrift stores in Australia. Now I am in a small town called the Sunshine Coast. It's actually quite sprawling and basically just suburbs. So I'll see what I can find. And yeah, normally I don't find anything. It's normally just beach clothes. So let's see what we can do. First up was Fusion Op Shop and literally there was so many gems here but just because you like something doesn't mean it's going to fit you so a lot of things I had to put back on the shelf because no they did not fit me. There's so many cute dresses and I picked up these shoes which I'll show you later. Lots of designer cool brands and then I decided to try on just like literally everything. All right I was in that first one for so long and the lady's probably like um why are you trying on so much stuff but not all of it fit, but I got a couple of things, very black and white, and I found like my dream shoes. Here's where it started going downhill. There was free bread and a lot of cool options on the dollar rack, but once I went inside the store, it was a little bit pricey and nothing really stood out. I didn't really like anything, to be honest. And a lot of people were in there and they kept just walking into me, which was a bit annoying. I went to try on these skirts but they were too small and I tried this sweater vest but it was $25 so that's a hard no. Then I went to Lifeline and they are a little bit pricey to be honest. They have a vintage section that everything is pretty pricey like thing like $25, $35 for a few things but if you like something in particular I mean pfft go for it but I just wanted to go back to the section that wasn't vintage so I went and picked up a lot of skirts to try on. This dress was super cute but it didn't fit me properly. This skirt just was way too small. It had skorts underneath. I like this one, you'll see it later. This was a little bit too tight and I'm not into tan and I like the embroidery but this was too short. I literally only been to two other op shops just then and it took so long because I just like to look around for ages but I have got a lot of black items. Do people just wear black here or something? I don't know. I really need to pee so I'm gonna find a bathroom before the next ones. <laughs> All right I'm at the next one. I couldn't find a bathroom but we're gonna have banana cake. Yum. Thanks mom. So I never liked this op shop and I really needed to pee so I went for one second, saw these dresses and I left. Then I made a mad dash to the toilet. And by the way guys, there is no gap in this door like there is in the US. And then I bought myself some special things so I could get through the day. Alright, <laughs> I have peed and we did an impromptu um, haul of period undies because I'm trying a menstrual cup for the first time today and this is probably the most ambitious day <laughs> to be walking around all day but Bond's period undies and we're trying to be sustainable baddies here. I also ended up getting some sushi but isn't this like the biggest roll of sushi you've ever seen? Like seriously how how the heck do I eat this thing? It's got like a huge thing of like avocado on the top it's like as big as my head. You guys have no idea the stronghold seaweed salad has on me like I love it. So the end of the day was a bit of a bust. None of these stores really had too much. This store in particular was very pricey, about like $12 for everything. And I didn't really like anything. So yeah, I tried these on and they didn't fit very well. So I put them back, but they are cute. Then went to Bloom Hill and yeah, don't think I found anything. This $45 mohair jumper was not for me. And this pink thing was kind of cute, but I'm not a child, so I didn't get it. These shoes were cute. And then I went to another op shop and this was the designer section they had. I tried on some Levi's jeans that didn't fit and this top, which was so cute, but my boobs are not big enough for it. So yeah, I basically tried on another skirt, but I didn't need any other skirts in this haul, so I left it. All right, final boss. I went to another area to go to this thrift store, but I didn't really find anything. I tried some itchy jumpers on and I said, hard no, hard pass. No, thank you. <laughs> so I put them back. 
So yes, that was yesterday. I found a bunch of stuff. So much more than I thought I was going to find, but it took a lot of digging. At the start of the day, I think I had a lot of false hope because the first store, the Fusion Op Shop, which I've been to Fusion Op Shops a couple of times before and I generally think they have good quality things. Well, around here. There were so many cool things. I tried on so much and I was like, wow, many op shops have changed. But then I went to the rest of them and I just, I couldn't find anything or I found stuff and it was like, the pricing was crazy expensive. Like a lot of the stores have their own like designer sections or whatever, but they like to charge so much more for things. Like $25 is kind of a bit much for a op shop. But also some of the op shops had nothing at all. Um, so I went through those really quickly, but also because I needed to pee. First up, the Fusion one. As you can tell, I loved that shop the best. And did we find some Doc Martens sandals? No, we didn't. It's uh, This is all a ruse. These are actually from Ruby Shoe, like the Cotton On brand. And they are a dupe of the Doc Martens sandals. But I actually saw these in store maybe like two years ago. And I was like tempted to buy them, but I thought you guys would get so mad at me for getting dupes of Doc Martens. Randomly, they were at the op shop, six bucks. I think this is a bargain and yeah, that's so cute. Just good for like going to the beach because I actually find that these sandals are just so severely overpriced at Doc Martens for like literally just a sole and two straps. Here I think they're about 200 bucks and that's just a lot of money for a sandal that you wear to the beach. Next up, I got this little white polo top. I do have one similar to this in cream. And this one is a size extra large, but I thought it would be so nice just to have a comfy top to wear with jeans or under dresses. And as I was leaving, I actually found another one in black from the brand Witchery. And this one is in a size small. It's probably hard to see, but to put it under dresses, I thought it would look super cute. And I think all the tops there may have been only like $4 or something. So that's a bargain. I wasn't too sure on this, but I think it'll just be like comfy to wear around. <laughs> This striped play suit thing. I feel like this kind of look was in a few years ago. Just like a comfy striped play suit. I don't generally like this kind of fabric on my legs or like tummy area, but this one seems big enough that I'm not gonna be super self-conscious. And I think it'll look cool with docks, like always. I also got this skirt, this black skirt. It's got this detail here. It's a little bit big, so I will have to take it in a little bit, but I just love a good like midi skirt. I think it has like some opening detail at the bottom here. And I've been wearing a lot of color recently, like recently being the last couple of years. And I thought, why not just try some of these black items? Like, I feel like the reason why I got into so much color was I was kind of focused on making cool Instagram photos and I thought black just never stood out. But I've been really inspired by this girl, I can't remember her name, on TikTok and Pinterest. So I thought, why not try out some like kind of black white items for myself? Now I really can't remember the order for the rest of the stuff, but I definitely got all these things from the same store. This top here is like a brown, it really reminds me of like 70s, but also 90s, like also Disney Channel for some reason, but it's like this detailed brown top. I actually never tried it on, so we'll see how it looks. It's got this detail on the sleeves, which is cute. And yeah, this was on a rack outside for a dollar. There was also another like velvet bralette situation that I found on the one dollar rack. And when I went to the counter, they said it was $5. And I was like, that is like a big increase in price from $1 to $5. So I was like, no, I'm not getting that, even though it was only $5, principal. Also on the dollar rack was this, <laughs> like literally the only thing with color that I got, um, just like a basic striped crop top, which looks cool with overalls. Like classic is totally the navy and red stripes. So size extra small, originally from Ally. So you normally see a lot of Ally, like Valley Girl, 
um, cotton on. I saw some Shein pieces as well. There's a really nice Shein skirt that I almost bought, but I would have had to also alter it a little bit. But when I found out it was Shein, I was just like, no, <laughs> the quality of that is just not what I'm looking for. So we're not getting that. Also, why are you selling it for like $10? Too expensive. Um, also on the dollar rack is this cool bathing suit situation. It's like cream. It reminds me of like corduroy, but um, I thought I could wear it as like a bodysuit. I really don't know if it fits me, but we'll see in a second when I try it on. All right, so I put on the swimsuit and I think it's kind of faulty, but I think I've made it work. So I don't know if it's meant to be worn like this, but this cup side kind of was like just veering this way for some reason. Like it looks like it's faulty and I don't know if this looks good or not, but I kind of, I kind of like it. Like the whole like two strap, move the straps over kind of moment. But yeah, I was just trying to make it work in whatever way. And I think I figured this out and I thought it would just look, look cool with like some jeans or something or just a cool like base layer with an outfit. And this one's actually sized large, but I don't know where it's from. But sometimes with bathing suits, the sizing can be really off because to me, that looks quite small. <laughs> then I went inside that store. They had free bread, which is so cute. But I did get this like laced, um, what is it? Like a vest thing. I thought it looked cute with little dresses and stuff. Just spice up an outfit just a little bit. This one was $6, super cute to add to an outfit. I also totally forgot to mention that I also got this bag, which is just like a little like kind of handmade crochet kind of bag. And what drew me to it was the fact that it had a zip and I got this in the same store that I got this top. But yeah, it has a zip and my phone fits like perfectly inside. So it's gonna be so great for festivals and I'm going to one soon. So. I'm so excited and this was like $5, which I mean, it's pretty cool. Then I went to the hospice charity shop and I found this cool uh, cardigan. Yes, it's very cute, very cute design, very cute fabric, but it was $12. Like literally everything at their store was $12. So expensive, but I did like the look of this one, um, it kind of looks handmade, but it's not. It's got a tag on it that I can't read. Really like how this feels because I did find a lot of scratchy things when I was out yesterday. And I really am looking for a cropped cardigan. So I think I'm gonna actually crop this somehow because I think that's something I would wear a lot. And then lastly, we got another black item, another black skirt. I really wasn't trying to get black skirts, but this in fact was from the vintage section of I think it was Lifeline. So this was $25. Like, look, you see that? $25. Also, don't look at my fingernails, they're gross. I really love this skirt, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear it a lot. I'm not gonna buy things for this price always, but I really love it. It's like a cool take on like the tennis skirt, which I find is really short and I don't feel comfortable in them as much. So I thought, why not go a long midi length? I did get something like this in New Zealand earlier last year, which is like a beige color and I love that skirt. So no doubt I'm gonna love this black one. So I did get this and I did cry about it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was just on my period, but. <laughs> Side note, cup update. Um, I cannot get the cup to work. So if you have any tips, please let me know down in the comments below. I may be manic in this video today for that exact reason. <laughs> That's all the clothes that I found at the op shops here in the Sunshine Coast. Um, obviously, I will try thrift in a better place like Brisbane or any of the cities around Australia. Soon I'm going to go to Europe and England though, so I might be able to see what you guys have in your charity shops. Anyways, my name has been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. This has been Marty. He's been sitting here the whole time if you didn't notice him. Hey Marty boy. Anyways, until next time, keep wandering.